hi everyone welcome to my channel this reading for today it is a collective tarot reading session for all signs i hope you're doing well i hope you're fine and safe and doing good you have a stalker let us see what is coming towards you what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know this is applicable for all signs for whoever needs the guided message this is for you thank you guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me you know what to do please click the bell please click subscribe let us see what is the guided message for all signs okay we will look into love career money and general situationship okay what's the guided message for all signs okay someone is talking you Someone is stalking you and they're nervous, okay? You've got the hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You have a three of pentacles in here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone is, yeah, the five of pentacles. It looks like the first reading is connected to a breakup or a separation. The hangman, this person, it seems to be you block them. Okay, the hangman, you block them or they block you. Um, if you look at the hangman, there is a, a bird. You look at that. There is an incognito. Look at that. There is someone who is not really approaching you, but they're watching you. Okay, um, you're seeing number 333. You're seeing number 555. Someone is heavily stalking you. I feel like it was an improper breakup or it was something of a, I feel like it's more of a, you know, it could be recently that this person ghosted you. Um, I don't think this is a long time ago. I don't think this is last year. It could be around three to five weeks ago, three to five months ago. Um, it was initially just to test the water if i ignore you if i don't respond would you follow up um i get the feeling that this person was i think they were overly confident i get the feeling of this person was overly confident that if they break up with you if they space out with you if a if they ignore you you will chase them um you probably followed up with this person because there is some flowers in here if you look at the three of pentacles in here like there's flowers in here so you did follow up you know there's color white and pink so for some of you when this person ignored you i would say in a collective reading you did made some effort to keep them coming back you know like you made an effort not like you made an effort a solid effort um showing that you don't want to lose it you don't want to break up there was something very there was a sub like there was a substance that was depth okay there was depth in your move that it's obviously i don't want to break up i don't want a ghost thing i don't want this to end so they know that whoever this person is they know that you made an effort that you don't want to end it okay but they proceed with playing hard to get playing cupid playing ego this person is overly confident okay I'm really getting like they're overconfident that, okay, if I break up, if I separated with you, you know, give it three months, give it five months, or give it five days, give it three weeks, we will still be able to connect. But the Five of Pentacles is here. It means that it didn't work out. Their prediction, they're overconfident. It puts them in a position of not really powerful, okay? I feel like you disconnecting with them, not following you you disconnecting with them not following up with them it, it takes your power back and now with the five of pentacles this person is left nothing and they're kind of lurking around your energy your house your social media yeah the ten of pentacles they regret it because this person they picture you as a perfect match when they think of you it's gonna work out but they toyed they played ego and there's something very like overly confident like they acted in such a way to i don't know maybe this person is insecure it could be this person is younger it could be this person is insecure 
or immature that they believe that if you guys space out, if you guys break up, you could still reconnect. But that's not, that is not what transpired. If you look at the Five of Pentacles, this is like drought, dry. Excuse me. The World Card, look at that. So fast forward, they're still waiting for you to respond or they're waiting for you to chase or follow up. And I don't think you will do that. For some of you, you block them. For some of you, deleted their number, okay? Yeah, the five, look at that. The five, you know, love begets love. Playing stupid ego begets, you know, playing stupid ego. So look at, as a result, they've lost you. They've lost, you guys lost the momentum because of them being overly confident of what they're doing. You know, it's a person who, this serves them a lesson, okay? So they will be incognito until they couldn't take it anymore. It's already a 10. So extremely, they're coming to a point, I'm sad of what I've done. I wouldn't be surprised if this person will call you tomorrow or soon. Because this is like, then a pentacles, I've lost the best person, the best match. Five of cups, I'm sad of what I did. So it's now coming to a point where my action led me to losing you. Yeah, they were foolish heart. Look at that. Foolish heart. Okay. The page of cups. Well, they know your number. They know the way back to you. And that is through an apology. The page of cups. So expect an apology from this person and a follow up sweet invitation. I feel like this person, you know, I feel like this person is really a sweetheart. You find this person like you cannot like this is a person who like you would agree with me to say that this person is a sweetheart. You know, like um, they could be stubborn, but they're very, very much the energy, the passionate energy of a sweetheart, of a lover. That's why even though there is some sort of inconsistency or there's a little bit of immaturity, you're, you're, you stayed hoping it will improve, okay? This is a sweetheart. I don't know why they play Cupid with you. They've learned the lesson. They clip their own, um, what do you call that? Is that an antler? No. Um, they clip their own ego, okay? So, because this is like a loss. The Five of Cups, I'm sad of what I did. Look at that, the Five of Pentacles. So, they've learned the lesson the hard way. And this person is now aware that choosing ego led them to lose you. Um, they're going to send you a very sweet message. Like this person is aware the only way back is to say sorry. You know, to be a sweetheart. Okay, I'm hearing the word sweetheart. They have a letter S, a letter T, a letter G, a letter C, an R, an NH. There's an NH, okay? There's something... I get the feeling that this person, maybe they vape. Um, this person is very proud of their job. They always talk about their job. This person wakes up very early or they uh, sleep very late. Um, you like this person. I don't know why they ghosted you. They like you too. They ghosted you. All right. Now the second reading. Okay. This is very spiritual. This is very food for the soul kind of reading. So the hermit card. For some of you guys, you could be feeling, you could be feeling lost. You know, the hermit card. You could be feeling lost, feeling uninspired. You know, you feel like you're in autopilot. You wake up, you eat, you sleep, you work. You wake up, you eat, you sleep, repeat, okay? So, I feel like this hermit card is something like going round and round and round, okay? You're not feeling the inspiration, okay? And also, it's possible that you are in this... I don't think you're alone for some of you guys. I, sorry, I don't think you're lonely. I feel like it's more of a reading where you feel alone, but I don't think you're lonely, to be honest with you. I don't think you are lonely. 
I think it's more of you're bored or not inspired. You could be alone, but you can keep yourself busy. It's more of like you're looking for inspiration, you're looking for your muse, you're looking for something exciting. And you're also searching for something special. Um, I feel like this hermit card, it is speaking to me that, you know, in life, you are the co-creator of your life, okay? Like the universe would like you to know that you are the captain of your ship. You are the co-creator of your life. If you're feeling uninspired, it's because you're not creating or exploring or experimenting or curious about some stuff that could make you inspired for some of you. So you've got to really move in motion to find that inspiration. Um, I feel like the universe is sending you ideas, sending you people, inviting you, but you might not be open for it. I want you to know that um, you are part of the co-creation. You are like, if you think that life is boring it's because you're not making the most out of it the universe would like you to know that they would like to work with you you've got to start opening your heart your mind your soul to okay i'm gonna create an inspiration it's like wake up you know like um not like wake up with purpose to inspire yourself make it a habit to not just sleep eat and work and repeat make sure that in a week in a day um, you would allocate time for inspiration something that makes you feel excited something that if you do it you feel excited you feel alive okay it is your it's part of your responsibility sadly to be honest with you guys you know if, if there is some sort of longing or sadness the first line of defense is us you know i can inspire you people can inspire you there's so much resources, you know, in YouTube, in books. But the first person, the own, the first effective person that would inspire you, that would lift you up is you. You are a sunshine. Okay? So, if you're feeling uninspired, if you feel like you're not motivated, then it's time to really be the co-creator of your life and allocate a time to think what will make you feel inspired what will make you feel alive and for some of you guys you could be feeling hopeless i'm hearing the word hopeless and what they're telling me is nothing is set into stone yet not even your deepest worries or fears or concern so if you are feeling hopeless it's not set in stone everything can change in like this so the universe is telling you um nothing is permanent you know for as long as you are alive there is hope there is change nothing is set yet so your deepest worries and concerns and fears it's not permanent it's not permanent i'm hearing that so if you have some worries or sadness or fears then maybe it's really time for you to find inspiration and inspiration it's best found in places it, where it's you okay it's it's best to find your inspiration within you um the universe is also telling you that you know instead like in, uh, instead of you know holding like instead of like instead of staying to like instead of being confined into fear and worries and concern, um, the universe is telling you, you know, why don't you surrender to us and um, we will take it from there, okay? Uh, the universe also, with, with this is full of wisdom. I'm downloading a lot of information with the Hermit card. This is full of wisdom. Also for some of you guys, yes, the Strength card. Thank you, Spirit. So, for some of you guys, the universe is telling you to balance your, like, balance your strength and your realistic view or something idealistic and realistic view of the world, your life, and the possibilities. Because um, within you lies the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom that whatever you feel like it's not possible it's actually possible so the universe is telling you 
balance the way you look at things and the way you conclude or judge things like be idealistic and realistic because the possibilities it's actually limitless okay and to be honest with you i'm hearing the word you know you are gonna be supported maybe it's in the process and there's something in here you know like like rome is not built in a day so and neither were you so what is happening right now it's not permanent your worries and concern it's not permanent it's ever changing so have the strength to have a realistic idealistic and of course no fear have faith with a strength card in here okay yeah you know the tower card this is surprising maybe you need inspiration Maybe you kind of need to shake up your world and do something inspiring. Maybe, you know, this 2024, you haven't really done a major glow up or a major reward to yourself. Maybe that's what you need to do is to reward yourself. So you feel that all of the hard work that I did, it's now converted into a reward. Like you're feeling uninspired. I feel like you're feeling uninspired because there is a specific thing that you want and it's not happening. Although it's not happening, but I could see it in process in the background. So the tower card, while you wait for your ship to arrive, co-create with the universe and do something fun. Do something inspiring. Do something, do something that would cheer you up. You know, I can only suggest, I can only influence you, but the executioner of your life is you so be the muse find the amusement you know a simple coffee a ride in you know the bus or the train you look around there's so much beautiful things to explore to smell to eat to feel okay so break up from an autopilot you know break up from an autopilot eat sleep work repeat do something fun i tell you give yourself one day do something fun read something inspiring not digital something something grounding something that you can touch and i tell you your perspective your vibe it's going to change okay so this is your reading thank you so much guys for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me you know what to do please click the bell please click subscribe and also, <clears throat> excuse me, for guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click subscribe. I will see you soon. You have a great day, okay? Click the bell, click subscribe. Bye, guys. <clears throat>